frames oh my god oh my god they so freaking cute and I have on really long lashes and my lashes are not touching the frames how cute y'all let me give y'all a close-up super cute ah! <laughs> y'all did I tell y'all my birthday was on the 22nd because it is and I'm getting ready for my birthday but these are really cute. So yeah, this video is not sponsored by the way. I bought these. I feel like I always have to say it because I don't want y'all to feel like I'm selling y'all stuff because I'm not. I bought these glasses. These are some other shades that I got from Fashion Nova. I love some really bold boho glasses. I feel like they go so cute with my face frame plus with my makeup be looking so bomb. Oh my God. Are you playing with me right now? Look at them y'all, they perfect. They perfect. I love some new shades. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> this is how much I love new glasses. So I got, these are the new ones. And these are, I got these over the summer. And I got these last year. And I probably only wore these like once. But these are all my new glasses that I have. Super cute. These are bomb. They so popping. So I did order a couple pieces. I have a tan, uh, not a tan skirt, a gray skirt, and I have a two-piece set, and I got them both in a large, and I know that's going to be a mistake because I tend to oversize myself. I don't even think, I don't even, I think a large is going to be way too big for me, but we're going to try this on real quick. I have a plan for this skirt already, so if it don't fit, I'm going to be so sad. It's long, y'all. This is how it look. It's like runched. I don't know. Oh, no. It's too big and my mom's stomach is just like poking out. <laughs> Wait. It's too big, y'all. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I always oversize myself like this? I be feeling like sometimes I'm like I'm freaking 200 pounds and I'm not. 
and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, you know what, I need a large, but I don't. I always do that to myself. Why do I over critique myself like that? I hate that about me. I hate that for me. I just need to go back and get a smaller size because I mean, it probably could. Nah, I needed to fit really tight. I could have really got this in a small. I already know this is gonna be too big. I already know it because I usually get all of my two piece sets in a, a medium because they already super stretchy. And I can already tell that it's gonna be too big. Oh my God, why do I do this to myself? Super stretchy, of course. And I know it's gonna be too big because I do not wear a large. Why do I, why did I do that? Why did I do that? They're not that bad. They're not that bad. I can't wait to lose my mom belly. Like I'm seven months postpartum and it's still here. I'm working on this y'all, don't even trip. The pants aren't that bad. Let me lower y'all so y'all can see. They're super long. The booty fit good. It's just my stomach. This situation gotta go. I gotta get this handled ASAP. From the back. So this is the full set. And this is like realistically on how I would even wear it. If you got a chubby belly and you don't want to show it, just, you know, put it up in the back so you can still show a little bit. And then put it down in the front and boom <laughs> but I like the set I think the set is really cute the shirt the shirt could have been a size smaller but I still think the set is cute the set is really cute after having three kids back to back to back it's gonna take me a while to like now that I'm done having babies it's gonna take me a while to like bounce back and stuff like my body I'm so insecure I'm not even gonna lie so doing this little try on haul was a lot but um I gotta get myself back together, okay? Because I need to be me. And lately, I have not been feeling like myself. So, <sighs> I'm ready to let these insecurities go, y'all. I need to get in jail. I need to start eating healthy. And I need to get myself back together because this ain't it. I should be able to try on clothes and be able to feel comfortable with myself. But it's just, that's just not in the cards for me at the moment. But I know I can get there if I like work hard and discipline myself. You know, but um, I'm going to get there. So we're going to be going on a food prep fitness journey here really soon. Um, So y'all stay tuned for that. But anyways, I like this set. I like the pink set. I don't think it's that bad. But the skirt is way too big. And I'll probably take that back. But these glasses and the other glasses that I got, fire. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend. I'm going to leave everything that I got in the description box. A turkey today and that's so crazy because I'm in charge of Thanksgiving dinner like who said I was suitable for that like who said I was capable of cooking an entire Thanksgiving dinner like usually well back in Kansas City me and my sisters we like tag team Thanksgiving dinner we all had our own thing to cook and it's like now that I'm in Houston I have to cook a whole meal by myself y'all I'm responsible for like six other people that's crazy that's crazy like sometimes I still be feeling like a child like I'm about to be 29 and I still feel like a kid sometimes and I gotta cook a whole freaking Thanksgiving dinner and y'all I've been looking up recipes not saying I can't cook I can cook I can just cook to an extent you know what I mean? So, like, I can do fried chicken and I make a bomb turkey, as a matter of fact. My thing was always the turkey and the macaroni and cheese. Chef's kiss every single time. But it's like the yams, when it comes to, like, yams and stuffing and greens and stuff like that. I've never cooked those type of things. So, now I'm just looking at recipes on TikTok. <laughs> I did find this really good peach cobbler recipe on TikTok and... I bought all the stuff today, so be looking out for that video on the Dami and Rye channel because we are going to make a peach cobbler and I bought double the ingredients, so if it turns out good, that means I'm going to make it on actual Thanksgiving day. I also got some brownie mix because I want brownies and ice cream. I went to Ulta today, y'all, and I'm going to show y'all what I got real quick. I got a lot of stuff. 
Okay, so for one, oh, you know what? I'm gonna start small, and then I'm gonna go big. Okay, so I got this dual lash glue. This is what I use for my lashes. Come on now, focus on the lash glue. This is what I got, dual lash glue. This is what the back look like, since the front is just like not really trying to focus. Um, I have some Great Lash Mascara. If you know, you know. This stuff is like OG mascara. Super bomb. And it makes your lashes look super good. I got a NYX eyebrow pencil in the color chocolate. Of course. Uh, I've been running out of a lot of stuff, so I had to go and re-up on a lot of stuff. I got some Juvia's Place concealer that I've been using. It's in the, sh it's in the number 16. So I got that. I got some Dermaplane blades because I be needed to shave my face sometimes and I like to like, you know, keep my eyebrows looking nice. I arch my eyebrows a lot. I already have some of these, but I don't know which one I was using for my lace and which one I was using for my actual face. So, so I also got some micellar water. I heard that micellar water is a whole lot better than makeup remover wipes and it lasts a whole lot longer. So I'm gonna try some micellar water. Hopefully it worked for me. What else I got in this bag? I got a lot of stuff. Okay, so I got uh, NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte uh, Creamy Power Blush. And I needed some new blush. So I got this color, uh oh. I got this color and this is the color bang bang and i found this at ulta okay so i'm really excited to see how this look on my face i also got some mario badesco lavender water and i use this after i do my skincare routine in the mornings so uh i had rose water at first but this is what i really like to use on my face i like i really like the lavender and chamomile so had to get another one of these, y'all. This big thing is only like 12 bucks. Not that much money at all. I got this lipstick. This is in the color uh, Chocolate Mousse. This is by NYX as well. It's their Smooth Whip lipstick. I can't wait to try this. I might use this around my birthday time. So within the next couple days, few days, y'all might see me wear this. I also have some moisturizing shave oil so when i shave my legs and stuff everything can be nice and smooth and moisturized this is in the fragrance moroccan rose and last but not least i have my murad clarifying cleanser if you know you know if you've been following me for a while then you know this is the only cleanser that i use on my face murad you first of all y'all need to sponsor me because i have been promoting your products for the last seven years I need I need some type of cut okay and I know I made y'all a lot of sales so therefore y'all need to sponsor me anyways you guys this is for balance to oily skin blemish prone skin and I started using this because when I was in beauty when I was in school to be an esthetician we was experimenting on each other's face and I had breakouts all along my cheeks and everything like my face looked so bad but uh, I started using this and my face cleared up. So I woke up to water all over the floor. And it's a leak up under there. You know what? This is great, right? This is amazing. This is everything that I needed right now. This is fucking bullshit. That's why I tell you what it is. It's literally water. Like a big pile of water right here. But you guys can't see it. But this towel is like drenched. It's just like water everywhere and it's leaking up there it's leaking from the faucet up there and it traveled onto the counter and now it's all over the floor I don't know if it's a, a pipe burst or something but this is amazing as if I don't have nothing else on my plate this happens and I gotta clean it up and we ain't got no clean towels so that's great <laughs> That's just, that's awesome. Y'all look what I did. I literally took a funnel and I put it underneath the leak and it's just draining back into the sink instead of going all over the counter. Y'all, I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm a genius. Look, it's just leaking right in there and then it's just gonna empty out into the sink. Duh, duh, but, but, 
I'm gonna have to get on the phone because I gotta make some calls. We gotta get this shit handled. <laughs> this is unacceptable. Absolutely not. These is my good towels. Well, not this one. Not this one. But these is my good towels, y'all. We gotta get my good towels off the floor and my good pot because I need that for Thanksgiving. So we gotta get this shit fixed. <laughs> What you eat? I'm trying to uh, Thanksgiving food that thing got. Why are you sitting in the car? I wanted to sit in the warm seat. Oh, yup. I get it. Like this. I get it. Like this. Like <laughs> that, that warm. Your butt yeah. warm? <laughs> my, my, my butt is warm. My back is warm. I'm just, and then the heat is like hitting my face. So it's like. Uh huh. I'm already knowing. That's my favorite part of the car. You're gonna go. You're gonna go to sleep when you come home. Yep, daddy on the phone. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting my dinner on. Now I'm about to add all my seasonings. I already added two roast packets. So this is about to be sitting for some hours. This is garlic powder. And I put two roasts in there because, you know, I'm trying to feed a, fam a family of seven. But only six of us is eating. But, you know, you know how that goes. So I'm putting a really generous amount because most of this is water and I just want it to seep inside of my meat. And black pepper. I'm going to add some potatoes, carrots, um, potatoes, carrots, corn, and babe, what else did we get? Potatoes, carrots, corn, and what else? Was that it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's it, y'all. So, I'm going to let this sit. This is going to be sitting for like, mm, maybe six, seven hours. I put it on high, but it still takes a while. So, I just want to work the seasoning into this meat. And this is going to be done by at least, it's one o'clock right now. It's going to be done by at least, I want to say eight o'clock. But, once it get like halfway done, I'm going to add my potatoes and my carrots and stuff. So, everything can be nice and soft when the meat is finished. Hey y'all, so I'm cutting up some aloe vera plants. I have two of them. I got these from Whole Foods like a couple days ago. So I'm cutting them up because I noticed it was a little brown on the edges and I don't need them right now. So I'm going to cut these up and put them in my freezer until I'm ready to use them. I bought these because I'm going to start incorporating aloe vera treatments into Masani's hair care routine. Y'all, she been wearing her afro lately and I be telling her like, look, sis, just because you got an afro don't mean you ain't got to moisturize your hair. You can't be walking around here with no freaking dry afro. So uh, I am going to start the aloe vera treatments on her hair because it's really dehydrated. And I think that's from all the braids that she's been wearing, especially like over the summer. It really messed her hair up. But anyways, I am cutting these up and I'm bagging them and putting them in my freezer. I think I got like two months worth of aloe vera treatments for her hair, y'all. And every time I need one, I'm going to just take it out the freezer, let it thaw out, and then I'm going to just use it that way. And I'm also going to try the Cardi B deep conditioning routine that she do on her hair. I'm going to try that on Masani's hair and see how that work out for her. But, you guys, I'm going to bring you on this journey, and I'm going to let y'all see everything that I do, especially how I make the deep conditioner. So I'm just storing this in my freezer until it's time to use. And this is my dinner, y'all. It's done. I put in my potatoes and my carrots, and this is how it turned out, y'all. It was super tender the meat was literally falling apart but y'all that's going to be the end of this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel y'all visit some of the links in my description box so y'all can go purchase some of the stuff that i mentioned in this video all right y'all peace